All right, so I'm back. where we're heading not too shabby well literally is too shabby but these views oh man you're gonna blow your tops there's also a zip line which eh, i guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing what the hell i'm here aren't i i'm gonna carpe this dm so damn hard it won't know what hit it but first we gotta get there and there's still so much to talk about just be annoyed about jacob you know what Jacob's real problem is? He thinks he's starring in his own movie. He sees everything like it's happening to him. She says, recording her own reality show. Ugh, whatever. He wants to be with me because he thinks it'll make him happy, when I don't think he's even ever thought about what I want. Okay, that's not true. Honestly, I think I'm deflecting. I know he'll meet someone at college and forget all about me. Good for him. He deserves it. Maybe I should start going all freaky clingy and stuff. Maybe that'll scare him off. Like, like show up at his house in a in a wedding dress or something like that. Loki actually considering it. But hey, here I go again, trying to turn everything I do into some sort of dramatic experiment. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open? the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death. There are literally no right answers. Uh, I'll just search the bag. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. There's something up there and it is not gonna make me jump i can promise you that much <sighs> goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore
Hmm. That's pretty easy. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> this will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Uh... Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is... I don't know, has their scent or something. What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I... I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. Pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Paranoid. We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals, okay? We don't know. We He could have rabies or something. Way to be optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. We gotta call for help. <laughs> Wayne, Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? <laughs> Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Curious. Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, like, help, help? So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friend may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there right now, uh, and or how smart they are, so they may be mounting an attack on us right now. So just, like, send a whole bunch of ambulances just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. <laughs> Dismiss. Well, did you hang up? How could I have hung up? I don't know. You know, maybe you slipped and. Hung up or something. Do you know how phones work? Yeah, of course. Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. I did not. <sighs> okay, so this phone's a no-go. 
No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. <laughs> crazy. You gotta be fucking crazy if you think I'm gonna go out there without something to defend myself. It's more of a safety concern. Oh, do you think I'm gonna shoot my eye out? Or your whole head. Don't be a dick, man. I know how to use this. Okay. Uh, it's... it's... Probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. Probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. <laughs> Aggressive. Well, maybe we should just leave her with your gun. I'm a much better shot than you. You man. don't know that. Okay, I might be an amazing shot. I might be. Just give her your gun. <sighs> Keep gun. No, fuck that. I'm keeping it. Dude, if those hunter guys come back, she's basically a sitting duck in here. You're being really selfish right now. It's not a good look on you. No, I'm just being safe. I can't believe you're being such an asshole right now. Look, you don't tell me what to do, man, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's it's not gonna happen. What are we even what are we even talking about? Just give her the gun. We don't need it. We already have a gun. Fuck. Let's try to frustrate it. Are you finished berating me? Well, I could go on, but please take your turn. Look, I know that you're Mr. Large and in charge in a crisis, and that's great, but I finally feel like I have one piece of hey, control piece. over the situation, and you want me to give that up, and that's just brutal, dude. It's, it's not worth having this argument with you. Well, you started it, man. Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Emma again. So I am still trying to keep all the characters alive.
to see you. Good to see you. Ah, it's that time again, is it? Why do you come? Why do you come if you've not found my cards? There are truths in the cards. Truths that can only be revealed if you bring them to me. So it's goodbye. Oh, I didn't find again. any cards. <laughs> I I'll thought I found some cards. This. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck. I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? Haha, <laughs> you ran away. You ran away. What? It jumped on me, and you ran away. You just left me there. Nick, I, 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 I didn't know what to do. I mean, I thought... Well, you'd rather I, just save yourself, huh? I, no, no. I, uh... <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um... Uh, oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Speak up. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. <laughs> I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Stay here. I'll check it out. Cautious, don't go. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> it's not boo.
say but like what yeah so like I was just you know thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and you know is that like the last time we're gonna see each other you know oh, I'm sorry Nick what what are you saying it's <laughs> like here hey I'm kind of pouring my heart out here. Oh, Nick, I'm, I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? I'm, I'm really freaked out and it's just not a good time. <laughs> Bitter. You're hard to read. <laughs> Wait, what? You're not even listening, are you? No, no, I'm... I'm wow. Yeah. I didn't think I was that boring. <sighs> Gosh, I... You're hurt. I just want to make sure we're safe, okay? <laughs> What's going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay. I got this. <laughs> oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Mm, how about we do nothing? <laughs> Run! I got you, girl. <laughs> Well, that went well. So the radio hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just like for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything and you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is, is that something, like, that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like, uh, DJing or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but... I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Um... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, 
and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not nah, yeah, like you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. Alright, where is it? Uh, the radio hut? It's way over here, isn't it? Yep. I think I owned it right here. Yeah, he's about to sit down. I'll just look at what I have so far. Any pass update? That was a photo shoot? So weird. 